Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Refugee to Region. My name is Sava, and today we are going to be building the rest of our elder houses. Um, I'm going to be doing more cuts this time, and just kind of progressing a little bit uh, faster, hopefully. Um, another thing that was brought up last time was the roof. Let me jump over here. Uh, for this house and just how it didn't fit and I kind of agreed with you guys and Kind of threw this together. Um, I'm still not really sure what I think of it, but I do like it a lot better After planting and harvesting down about three great woods I finally got one that didn't grow into the house for uh, that little area so we'll just be expanding out our elder houses and Finishing our upgrades um, this will allow us to progress forward and then continue building our smaller houses. Um, one thing I do want to do is leave room in kind of the middle area for a little side yard expansion on this side, like the yard that we had over here. And I've already started by cleaning up all the bushes around, so let me actually tear down these two houses for uh, Christophe and Bellatus, and uh, we'll get started with Aram. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Hello everyone, welcome back. So I've done a little bit of building, and I have a kind of little trick thing that I wanted to show you guys with Microbox, and then we'll finish the roof off of the first house together. So uh, this is what we have. I move the outside area to the second floor, um, and if we come in, we'll notice that there's a set of stairs, well, place for a set of stairs down. This house will have a room under as well as a room above. And our little outside area, so just some dirt and a little planter box. Um, throw a little bit of a garden here, and if we go up real quick. Up here, we'll notice that um, we have micro block walls, and this creates an actual issue. Um, let me hop down real quick. We have a full great wood block here, but we have the micro block, and on top, we want our um, great wood plank. So, to do this, we actually need great wood notch in the corner and then pillars. So this gives us the look of the full block, as we see. And you can actually probably skip the corner one, um, and that's fine. And then we take our point cover and we put it in. Now any other way that I've looked at doing this, um, unfortunately it doesn't end up working out. What I end up getting is the great wood uh, logs coming through and we don't have the micro block on top so this seems to work and um, yeah now one thing that i did just notice is we're actually going to need a step uh, uh, this should work actually never mind we will just need a few of our notches So coming in, we're have the wrong. Uh, that should be okay. We'll just kind of come in with our great wood around and a couple notches here and here to make sure that we're pulled back a little ways, but we still have our depth of field that we get with the red with it being set back. And then another thing that we have is, this is the roof level. Um, and it's actually perfectly square. I made sure of that. 
end it is a six by six so we should be able to fairly easily um, close this off with some great wood um, we're going to skip the log beams that we had beforehand and just go to um, slabs. So I'll pull the corners back and then we get our slabs. One issue with working with microblocks as much as I do is sometimes when you're transitioning from block to block or often, depending on how you are clicking, um, you get them standing on the corner, which when you have an efficiency 5 axe or something like that really isn't an issue, but when you're dealing with terrible tools that we have currently, um, it is definitely more important. So just a couple blocks there. And those were in the wrong spot. Those need to go up one. So one thing that I wanted to make sure was this house looked different than this house, um, but still kept with the theme that we have going. And I think we achieved that. Um, And then we'll just do half steps up towards the center. And I'm going to need more great wood. Something that I think is important is keeping with themes. So I do like the fact that we have been able to do that. But, um, let's see. especially in our city, we have people who have access to the similar building materials from the same area. Culturally, they would have uh, similar backgrounds, so stylistically we can expect their houses to look similar. So if we can achieve that inside of a city build, that's definitely a positive thing. Um, And now, to place this block, we actually need a dummy block. We can't use the uh, placement modifier trick that we have been a bunch. So, and if I do end up liking the way that this looks, um, what we will end up doing is converting this roof over to something more of a similar style. And then the same thing here, actually. Um, we need a dummy block to get these placed. Okay. And hop down, a little bit more cleanup. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to need to have growing in here, uh, but we'll figure out that later. And hop down and just kind of take a look. So the things that I really focused on on this was creating depth. Um, and we get that in the second layer, especially from kind of the angle over here. I do like the micro block walls with the depth that they create without having to lose a block bringing, for example, this pillar out to here um, to get that same effect. Another thing that I like is the tiered now we have our full house length and then it tears as it goes up. I think that that is a very positive thing. Um, so we may do something like that on our last house we have to build. And it looks like I'm basically out of silver bell. So we can't finish the inside. Um, I think having a basement will add a lot. Just 
a little place that we can gain two more rooms with keeping with our height that we currently have. Um, I definitely like the way the roof, I think, looks on this one. Let's go up and check it out. Yeah, I like that a lot better. All right. So one of two houses down. And we'll do something of kind of similar style over here where the main floor is where the majority of the build is. And actually, I think we're going to use all the space and not have a basement. So what we'll end up doing is having a second floor that looks like the first and a bottom floor that looks like the second. And more materials are needed. Okay, good. Uh, I am... I'm going through a bunch of silver bell, which is to be expected. Uh, also, this house was six wide. This is five. That's another thing that we can do to vary the houses themselves, which is vary their width. as well as um, height eventually as well. And then finally we have the ability to vary things about their look, where windows are, if they have planters, the first house doesn't, the second does, and it's almost night. So we'll go sleep. Keeping variants in the actual buildings while maintaining a similar style um, can be more difficult just due to the fact that we like um, human nature at least. Patterns and things that we can put into boxes are things that are very nice. Also, I haven't cut out any windows in this wall or the other wall, just in the front. I'm going to do the same thing here, and then when we are planning the interior rooms, we can um, get our windows planned more. So, we like to be able to put things into boxes, um, having things more similar, but we don't like things that are perfectly repeated. Um, this just looks off often. Um, because of that, one thing that we need to do as somebody who is creating a cityscape as we are is make sure that we keep the ability to put the city into box a box more or less so everything isn't just random patterns um, but maintain a similar look so we have the same level four and everything else So I'm going to go finish at least the bottom floor and we'll come back with the top floor and then deciding where the center pillar is going to go. Um, it's different on this house. This house was based off of the back length to make sure that the top was square. The front house was based off of the porch. So we'll figure out something to base it off of for this house. and. Um, back to you with a little bit more progress. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Hey guys, back with you. So I finished the first floor in the second, um, though none of the like tiling work or anything like that is done. 
and um, yeah, what I wanted to do right now was kind of decide on room layout. Um, this is really important to any house that you're designing and just figuring out what kind of sizing. So if we're going to have a room with the staircase for like oh, maybe a little storage room, which is what we're going to do in this case, we need to take the case of the stair or the area of the stairs, which is here, and then figure out how much extra room we need. Um, one of the things about this house is we only have these two air stories to work with, and we're going to be a little bit more tight on space. Another thing that we want to decide is do we want a door here? And I believe we actually do. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a door out to maybe a little back area. And this will give us a place for maybe a little bit of an animal pen. Um, and we can finally move the cows that I have over there, over here, and create some sort of fenced area for them. Um, since this will be our elder who kind of deals with our ranchers and such. So a front room, maybe for a little bit of a sitting area, the entry area um, will go three wide. And once we get inside the house, I do like to have our um, doors kind of offset so that not everything is exactly in line as you walk through. And then for our stair area, we can have a chest right kind of in here, but we do have this center area. This is a huge area compared to the size of the house, um, not actually a very big area. So we can split it again, and we want to make sure that there's enough room for wherever door is, which in this case, we're going to put it right up against the wall, and our area to get around. So you can come in, you can get into the little chest wall maybe right here. And then you do have access to out back, which will have a little bit of a animal pen. Now when we go upstairs, we need to decide, do we want to kind of mimic the same thing? Which I think we do for the first wall. So just something right away. Um, now one thing that we will make a note of is since we don't have anything in this area, which we could, we could um, take one of our slabs and put it here and kind of get the same feeling. But for this house I wanted a fully open stairwell. So this space is almost lost. Um, so we're going to lose a block, but that's okay. Um, losing space for a vision that you have of what the total space should look like is more than okay. And now we come up to our top area and we have a big open window and we need to have room for our bedroom so beds are two. So maybe something right there will be our bed and then a little bit of space and once again we're going to have our Um, office on the second story. I think that that is the best place to have it. Um, it'd be quieter is a big piece and another part of it is um, more private. So with our elders being more public figures I kind of assume that people would want a place to go and kind of just relax and then we're going to just throw a couple micro slabs in or micro box slabs and to get a bigger window. Um, we did this downstairs for our window altogether. Um, one thing that is unfortunate about this is we can't have a little planter because it either have to be full block and if we did a one block wide planter we'd run into some issues with being able to encase it like we did this one as well as just being able to plant anything with it, or inside of it. Um, so we do have to avoid that, unfortunately. But this is our inside layout. 
and the next decision is for each of these kind of wall segments do we want to have um, a great wood log running up through them the way that we have for our big wall segments here with this section and kind of over here for the first four. And I think the answer to that is no. We're just going to leave this house the same color and everything all the way down. So, uh, yeah. So I'll be back with you guys with uh, one last clip and we'll finish this up and come back and show you the results of our elder houses all next to each other. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Welcome back. So I just finished sleeping and we finished our houses today. So we have our elder houses done. Um, I still have a few things to do. Like get some lights done. Um, the basement here still needs to be done. But otherwise, we have our three elder houses. We have the granary from last time, which will actually need to be moved somewhere. Um, we need to build houses kind of around a square area, which is this whole center area that we still have to do. And we do need to keep this structure for our mob spawner, I believe. Um, unfortunately, it would be kind of attached right to the middle of the town, so I may end up just moving it. Um, though we will see. Um, so each house kind of the same flair, same idea, slight differences. I do find that I'm really liking uh, the lower roof, and Mr. Zombie is not going to let me finish talking. Um, so I'll probably update this, at least somehow, uh, kind of match the other two, and go from there. So... Finish the elder houses, uh, still have the interiors to do on all the buildings, but uh, we'll save that kind of for the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, leave me a like, throw me a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys think of the building styles, about the episode format, um, since it was a little bit different with less building on camera. Um, and I will catch you guys next time. Ciao.